Mental Fox here with more Skyrim. Look how excited these two are to get started. Look at this. We're going to do a little, do some exercises, you know, kind of like get the blood flowing before we uh, get started here. We got a little bit of walking to do. We got to go uh, back to uh, the Blars of Blar. What's it called? Largish Burr. Remember what happened at the end of the last episode? Wasn't that crazy? When Yamars turned on us? Jerk. After escorting Yamars to Fallowstone Cave and proving myself more worthy, Malakath has commanded me to return to Largish Burr and deliver Shagrol's hammer there. Well, let's go ahead and do that. We're all we're all stretched out now. Got some blood flowing. So we're going to head back there. Um, so I, I've been traveling with uh, Inigo because he's my new uh, follower. And then uh, Serana is here with us because we went back to the Soul Cairn and released her mother. And I wanted to travel with these two because I thought that maybe they would interact with each other a little bit. But they're really not. They're not really having any conversations with each other that I've noticed. Uh, so I think I'm going to tell Serana to go home. But we'll keep her with her at least for the walk back to Largish Burr. Um, just, to, just to give these guys a chance. Just to see if they do have any... Anything they want to say to each other before I banish Serana forever and never see her again. Uh, <laughs> yeah, somebody mentioned my interactions with Serana were like if we were a married couple, but I don't think we can be married. I don't think so. I, I, I say that. I have no freaking idea, man. But uh, let's see. Let's uh, we'll see what happens if I put on uh, the uh, Mara necklace... Uh, where is it? Amulet, Amulet of Mara. We'll put this on. And Serana. Oh, what is it? Uh, have you ever, um, have you ever thought about marriage? Oh, I get it. Is that why you're wearing an Amulet of Mara? Mm hmm Uh, I was, I was hoping you might want to talk about it. Look, you're great, really. But I just don't think that's for us. Especially not me. I mean... With my history, I still kind of get a chill walking by a temple. Can't imagine going in one. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, but, um, have you ever thought about marriage? I think we've talked about that enough. Come on now. <laughs> Come on now, she says. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm really glad I did that. Because <laughs> it was worth... It was worth, uh seeing what her reaction was ring of conjuration is what i'm wearing right now and i should have some kind of necklace of conjuration as well it was also mentioned that i have some gauntlets in my hand in my possession that uh, may be of interest to our good friend inigo um let's see here i've got orcish gauntlets of extreme wielding and steel gauntlets of major archery now you're talking so let's give him those speak to me well i'd rather trade some things with you i hope this will be a mutually beneficial exchange uh trust me it will so i'm going to give you these uh steel gauntlets of major archery i don't know if you put them on man to be honest with you i think well, maybe he did What did I just do? <laughs> Wait a minute. What? What did I just do? Did I take something back from him accidentally? Um, I was trying to remove them from him. Wait a minute. All right, I'm I'm okay. So when I hand him something, I I look at his picture here and I see I try to see if anything changes here. And it doesn't look like it has. It looks like he's determined to wear these. So, here, put these on instead. I mean, I've got... Yeah, he doesn't need these. What the... Okay, take those back. Give him... These, which I'm wearing now, apparently. So he put them on. Okay, he's wearing them. Alright, so that's good. Let us go. Oh, hold on a second. Hold on. I need to put my gauntlets back on. You don't want me to go running around without gauntlets on, do you? Uh, so I'm going to put my... Uh, let's see. The, the choice is... I put these on 
which give me 30% more two-handed attack damage, but less armor. Or I put these on. I don't know, man. That's a lot more armor. Uh, I should see if I could get these up to uh, exquisite and then use these instead. We'll see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me make sure I'm wearing everything. Oh, I don't have my helmet on either. My goodness, I'm handsome. Look at that guy. That is one good-looking dude. Let's uh, let's go into his inventory, and we're gonna put something on our head, and that thing is gonna be our ebony destruction helmet, which I'm not really taking advantage of right now because I haven't really been doing destruction. I've been focusing more on conjuration and two-handed. So this might not really be the smartest get up for me. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. I'm scared. I've already got Pink Kind's piece here. There. Why so dark? We're back in the cave. Oh wow, I left that gold behind. That is very unlike me. I'm slipping. So... Definitely already searched all this stuff. This bear that I tried to make friends with, but... Inigo and Serrano were having none of it. Let's get out of this dark cave, man. I don't want to be in here. It's dark in here. I don't know what that is. Well, uh, looks like we're going to get our boots wet. Let me see if I could not get my boots wet. Look at that. You can even see the bear through the wall up there. That's interesting. Doesn't seem like we've gone that far, but apparently we have. Iron War Axe of Chills. I don't need that. I'm just looking around a little bit, because last time we kind of just made a beeline through here as we followed Yamars. <laughs> <laughs> Smells like a giant's armpit in here. Uh, uh, that's awesome. <laughs> Smells like a giant's armpit. <laughs> that was a good one, Inigo. That was a good one. Uh, did we walk over here? Uh, did we? I don't know. There's a chest unlock. I'm going to say we did not walk over here, or if we did... I just simply did not see this chest. Both both options are possible. Ooh, potion of ultimate healing, my favorite kind of healing, ultimate. I ain't got time for this vigorous or extreme. Ooh, there's a giant over there. What's up? What's up? Gosh, that is look how scary looking he is. Look at that. That's scary. We can't let this giant live. I don't know. You know what? That giant never did anything to me. I'll let him be. He never did anything to me. We'll just, we'll just let him be. Of course, I need to figure out how to get out of here. Okay, I guess we just go up here. Let me uh, turn on my headlights. I am actually... How the heck am I get out of here? I'm actually kind of surprised that Serana and Inigo did not attack the giant. How the heck do I get out of here? I mean, I could do this, but I don't think my companions can do that. Whoop, I'm not even sure I can do it. Um... <laughs> How the heck do I get out of here? Probably not by swimming here to the waterfall. Ah, there. Now maybe it doesn't smell so much like a giant's armpit in here now that I've taken a shower. <laughs> how do I get out of here? Let me look at the map. I don't remember how to get out. I'm going to spend this whole episode in this cave. Uh, I need to go this way, all right. Huh. Um. I mean, I need to figure out a path that my followers can take, too. Well, followers, I, I don't know what to tell you, but you're kind of on your own. I, I really don't know how I was supposed to get out of here the real way. But, um, 
I guess they'll just catch up with me later. Because these guys aren't going to be able to get up here. There's no way. I'll figure it out. Hell, I'm not even sure I can get out of here. How the hell do I get out of here? Huh. Um. Here we go. Up here. I can't make that jump. Um, I'm, uh, whoa, what? What's going on? They're probably fighting that giant down there, aren't they? They ain't got nothing better to do. They're like, well, you just left me there. Pretty sure this isn't the way out. I do not know how to get out of here. Oh, this gonna hurt. No, it didn't. Well, um... Huh. Oh, they're not fighting the giant. Hey, dude, do you know how to get out of here? Hey, man. Do you know the way... out of here? Because I, I don't know it. Where's Serana? Um... Huh. There's a, my health bar is here. Apparently, if you shave them, they look almost human. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, I don't know where Serana is. Um. What? Class dismissed. What is going on? Did Serana take down the giant? No, he's standing over there. Nobody seems to be fighting the giant. Alright, I'm... I am confused. I do not know how I'm supposed to get out of here. I, I don't I don't remember how we came in. When we followed Yamars. I don't remember a waterfall. What the hell? Is there, um... I, mean, I didn't see any way... Oh, what's this right here? Oh, that's the giant's grove. Yeah. Well, there was no way out of there that I saw. How the hell do I get out of here? I mean, I can't imagine following Yamars down a tree branch. Tree trunk? I mean, I'm, I don't think that's what happened. The hell? You know, I kind of remember coming in here and looking over to my left and seeing that. I remember that. And I think we came from this way, but I mean, oh, you know, I, I kind of remember these guys like jumping from up there and laughing about it. Was that, was that here where I saw that happen? Yeah, I think, I think I remember that. So, but they can jump down, but they can't jump up. How am I supposed to get out of here? I am very confused. I can't fly. I tried jumping around here and that didn't work. How the hell am I supposed to get out of here? Giant walking around down there. Um, I, uh, I mean, normally the game doesn't do this kind of thing to you. So, I, I, uh... Come on, dude. I just want to get the hell out of this cave. What the... Wait a minute. How'd they get up there? How'd they do that? Look at that. Look at that ledge way up there. How'd they... How'd they get up there? They're way up there. How'd they do that? Is there a freaking elevator over here? How the hell did they get up there? 
What in the freaking world? I'm wondering if the game just put them up there, like they materialized up there. Oh, there's a bird flying around in here. What in the world? Um, I am, as bats, I am baffled. Baffled, I say. And there ain't no way out of here. What in the world? Um, what's this right here? Oh. This is the giant we killed earlier, I guess? That's kind of sad, just the way he's lying there. Kind of makes me sad. Um, if I go through here... At least I'm going up. Could this be it? No, this is just going to take me to the grove. What's this? Oh, that is the way to the grove. Oh, wait a minute. What's this? So we've got this here. Ah, uh, maybe this is the way out. Ah, here we go. My goodness, that was confusing. Well... Oh. Spent 15 minutes trying to get out of this freaking cave. Wow, somebody put some boards there. How thoughtful. <laughs> well, I'm glad that I finally found the way out of here. Because it's pretty obvious to me that that way we were trying was not working. Should I not have dropped down here? <laughs> See you later, Serana. Gosh, this place is crazy. I'm just... I, I'm, I know this isn't the way out. I'm just walking over here just to see if there's anything interesting. Okay, let's get the heck out of this cave. Wow. We still have to walk to Largish Burr. And, I mean, there is no interaction whatsoever between Inigo and Serana. They, they have nothing to say to each other. They, have, they want nothing to do with each other. I, I, I wonder what followers I can travel with that Inigo would have conversations with. Boy, that didn't do anything. It is just pitch black out here. Good gosh, it is supremely dark. I like the snow, but I can't see anything. <laughs> uh, trying to get back. No. Oh, trying to get back to uh, Largishbur, which is way over here. And um, obviously, I could fast travel. Why is my light not doing much? Whoa! Whoa! Oh, don't do that. Where are my friends? What? Uh... I'm just dead all of a sudden? So, I didn't look at my health bar uh, when he breathed on me because it was frost breath. And frost generally does not hurt me because of my hearty Nordic blood. But, holy hell. That guy. Oh. That guy meant business. Golly, I can't even see where the hell I'm going. Whoa. What are you, what, huh? Who are these people? Night Lord Vampire? Hey, quit taking my health. 
quit it. I don't. I don't appreciate it. There's a blood dragon here now too. What the hell? <laughs> Ash pile. Well, let's search it while I'm standing here, because otherwise I'll lose track of it. Because this guy's got some good stuff on him, man. Physicalities of werewolves. I've already read that. Oh hell. Uh, let's take a potion. Let's use one of those, uh... Ultimate healing potions. Oh, she's... Is she dead? No, she's not dead. She's just taking a knee. I can't even see her. Gosh, take her down already. Gosh, it is getting crazy up in here. Come on, take it. Okay, we got her. I'm gonna take her lockpick and uh, some of her stuff. And then we've got a freaking dragon here. I think. Where'd he go? There he is. Gosh, it's could it, could it be any darker out here? <laughs> Blood dragon is almost dead. This one's breathing fire, so naturally I'm gonna shoot fire at it. Uh, just for your information, I can't see anything either. I'm sure you can't see anything on YouTube. It is so dark out here. This has got to be the darkest part of Skyrim. Blood Dragon. Take that stuff. Take his soul. That soul smelled of Charles Brand and gold sweat. <laughs> <laughs> that soul smelt of... Well, whatever he said. How am I gonna get over these mountains here so I can get to where the hell I'm going? I'm waiting for the sun to come up so I can see. Well, I can only hope that my followers are following me. I'm gonna F5 it, man. I'd hate to die now. Hey! There's a building here. Are these... Where am I? I am... Coming up on Riften. That's right, remember we walked through Riften last time. Someone do says... Someone do something? What's going on? Why? What's wrong? Really? Another bear? How come you didn't get Kynes pieced? Look at that. Indigo won't fight him. Or will he? He's at the right. Oh, he shot him! What are you doing, man? Alright, whatever. Well, I couldn't Kynes piece him. Another one? What the hell? It's funny how much, uh, uh, adversity I'm facing because a couple people in the comments were like, dude, you need to up the difficulty because I've got so many people traveling with me. Ask me, those brats in the orphanage are better off now that old girl are But, um, I don't want to up the difficulty. You smell like a wet dog. So instead, we're going to let Saranic go. But I, I, I do want to travel with other companions I, say, I keep saying companions, you know what I mean, followers I do want to travel with other followers because um, I, wonder if we should open I want to see if Inigo will interact with them the soldiers? From which side? The storm cloaks or the Imperials? Both. One or the other is bound to win the war eventually Why not curry favor now so that the victor will look upon us kindly? <laughs> you have the foresight of a Khajiit in a sandstorm. If we offer a discount to both sides, the winners will persecute us. I'm no fan of the lose. sun. This could be better than this. Hmm. I had not thought of it that way. He's trying to listen to their conversation. Hmm? Speak to one of the others if you wish to buy something. Oh, he would train me in the art of speech. Well, this is a big... Uh, 
Oh, there's Carjo. Are cold, hey, Carjo. Feels warmness from your presence. Travel with me. I oh, hope that you will come to do business us. with us again. I hope we do not encounter one of them on the road. Hey, Serana. See you later. I suppose if we do, yes? we will find out just how fast. I think we should part ways. Oh. All right then. You know where to find me. Yeah, I think I do anyway. Yeah, let's travel with Carjo and see if the if Inigo has anything to say to him. Hey, Carjo. The wind blows bitter cold in this place. Follow me, dude. Then lead on, friend. Okay, now we're gonna have some fun Khajiit on Khajiit action here, right? Right, right, guys. You're gonna have conversations with each other, and I'm gonna be blown away by these conversations you have with each other, right? Am I right or am I right? Ah oh, crap, where's Serana? Did she have my torch? <laughs> Gosh. Um A welcome to you, fellow traveler. Thanks. Ah oh, crap, she's the longer we travel the roads of Skyrim, uh -huh. the more empty this land seems. Yeah. Ah, uh, doggone it. Um yeah, I know I don't I don't think I gave anything to Serana this time. You. My name is you are Inigo. Hey, look. Us somewhere warm, nice to meet you. Well, he just talked to somebody. He said my name is Inigo, pleased to meet you. Uh, he may have even said Carjo. Couldn't tell there was a little too much talking on, here. Friend. If anyone sneaks up on us, I'll smell them coming. Or I might not. We will see. <laughs> I will shoulder some of your burden. Uh, I want to see if I have a torch to give to him. You know I like it when my followers have a torch. Yeah, here, have a torch, dude. There. Kajit will follow. Cool, good, good. Good, 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 good. Okay, so the roads of Skyrim lead to many dangers. It's probably best if we go through Riften. If I can go through it from here. Seems like it's so freaking dark now. Like all the time. And I've been using this these mods for quite a while and I mean, they were darker than the regular game, but I don't remember them being this dark. So I don't know if something has changed or what, but it just seems so dark now. Is it absolutely necessary for you to bother me right now? Uh, I do believe you are the one who is bothering me. The nerve. Wait a minute. Why is it taking me here? Hello, Kajo. My name is Inigo. Pleased to meet you. Now, aren't you a strange one? You have no idea. How are you doing? An astute question, for we are far from home, and this is a cold, hard land. We are, and it is. But the snow and ice only serve to highlight the warmth we feel for those we care about. It is not so bad. Hmm. I had not thought of it that way. Fortune smiles upon this meeting. I hope so. Good to have you with us. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> there we go. Now we've got a little bit of fun. Right, Carjo? Carjo and Inigo. Why is it taking me through here? I guess because there is a way out of the of the brewery, right? The meadery, whatever. Right? Is that why it's taking me through here? Because you can get out, of, around here. get out of Riften through here. I think. So we go this Welcome. way. Allow me to recommend the Black Friar Mead. Yeah, you'd like that, wouldn't you? Uh, I need to go down. I already read that. Pardon me, gentlemen. Let's see. So I need to go down. How do I go down? I'm quite busy. Need something? Or can I get back to work? <sighs> we serve only the best here. Where's the Black stairs that go Reed. down? Ah, oh, here they are. He said if I'm late one more time, he'll kick me right out the door. That's sweet. What there we go. This takes us back out to Skyrim. So th this whole episode is really just going to be me, first of all, trying to get out of the cave, and then walking through the dark to Riften, and then walking from Riften to Larkersburg. Who's this guy? Who are you, dude? Oh, this is a uh, mall. You want to talk? Finish those jobs for Brynjolf first. Finish those jobs for Brynjolf first. 
crap, man. That'll just take me in the water. <laughs> How do I get back on land? <laughs> Gosh. Oh, for crying out loud. Uh, well, maybe we'll go for a swim, because I, I don't feel like trying to figure out how to get the heck out of here. Come on, guys, we're going for a swim. Yeah, they're talking, but I can't hear them. <laughs> Hopefully they're following. Pretty bridge over there. I hear footsteps behind me. Hey guys. Man, I mean, look at the stuff on my compass. The things that I still haven't discovered. There's a cave over here. There's a fort or something over here. Oh, for crying out loud. Go. Alright. Here we go. What do these signs say? Iverstead. Helgen, Riften. I mean, what time is it? It's 8.54 a.m. The sun's finally going to come up. Here's some wolves off in the distance. Got a little fox here. Butterflies. Remember when I used to catch butterflies? Those were the days. I used to stop and pick everything up. Butterflies. Whoa, bandits. Where are they? Because they do not have a chance. She said that it's so dis distraught. Oh, I've made a huge mistake. Liar, liar, you should retire. Your lies are getting old. You need a new supplier. <laughs> okay, dude. Bandits. Inigo hates bandits as much as I do. Man, how far is this? Let's see where we are on the map. Okay, we're almost there. There it is. Well, we've got some bad news for you guys. Your leader's dead. But he was a jerk, so it's okay. Who do we talk to about this? This person here? Our tribe has survived this long without you interfering. Oh, shut up. We'll be fine. Had enough of you. The ways of the mystic are known to me. I have remedies and cures, should you need them. Thanks, a tub. It is good to finally know that Malakath has not forsaken us. Hey, I've returned with Shagrol's hammer. But what of your Mars? I, I love see. it here. He did not survive. He... He died well. Well, he asked me to kill the giant, and then he attacked me. He was kind of a jerk. What? Why would he do such a thing? Yamaris was a coward and a weakling. His deceitful ways have cost you all greatly. So he has been punished. And what of us? What fate shall we suffer? You'll have to prove yourselves, but I'm willing to give you a chance. Gullerzo's in charge now. Let's hope he's a better chief. You place that hammer on the shrine. You're the only one who's proven worthy in all of this. <laughs> <laughs> Take Shagral's hammer back to Largishpur. Place Shagral's hammer on the shrine in Largishpur. If we look at the quest, 
Uh, no new uh, text here except for this. What do you think about all this, Atub? We have learned from our mistakes. Malakath's needs come first, and we will serve him faithfully. All right. You must help us appease Malakath. Okay, I will. Clonk. We did it. May your weapons be sharp. Yo. And your prey fresh. Well, that thing got way cooler once we put it on there. What? Oh, what am I doing that for? Volendrun. The ways of the mystic are known to me. I have remedies and cures, should you need them. Okay. Until next time. So the leader now is Gullerzub. I will do my best to lead the tribe, but I don't know why Malakath chose me. May your next fight bring you victory, friend. I am honored to have been chosen to lead, but I know that being picked by Malakath does not mean I am ready. Your Mars betrayed us all. I will never allow that to happen again, so long as I rule. Well, he's dead, so... Do not raise arms against my people, and you shall always have a place here, champion of Malakath. Ateb is wise beyond her years. I take her advice seriously, and you should as well. You have a lot to say. This better be good. <laughs> yeah? This better be good. Okay. Well, that actually turned out to be kind of interesting, that whole little quest there. So what's the deal here? Can Watch I take this? Because that's pretty awesome. Let's see, can I take it? Let's see what happens if I take it. Nothing. It's mine now. Screw you, orcs. Belongs to me. I'm probably just going to sell it. Nah. It's a cool looking weapon, so uh, maybe I'll uh, put it in uh, one of my mini armories. Hmm? Maybe? Volendrung. Absorb 15 points of stamina. I mean, that's kind of cool. But it's really cool looking. And I think it actually kind of glows. Yeah, look. Look at it. It's glowing. So that's going to look great on my wall. I mean, Mal Malakath didn't say I couldn't take it back. Right? Does this guy have anything new to say? I am surprised that Gullerzu was named Chief. Yeah? We are all blood oh. here. One family, one tribe. So he's a possible companion, follower. Huh. Interesting. Let's see what he says. You already have someone to do your fighting for you. Don't need me. No, I don't. But uh, I'll make a note of him. And maybe one day we will travel with him. I wonder how many conversations uh, Inigo and uh, Karjo will have. I don't know. We'll just have to travel with them some more and find out. Let's take a look at the map, see where we are. So over here we've got the Shadowstone that we haven't visited. And then over here is Lost Tongue Overlook that we haven't been to. And then over here we have Broken Helm Hollow, another place that we know of but haven't visited. So, um... I mean, if these are on my map... Well, there's a lot of reasons they could be on my map. I could have walked past them before. Somebody could have told me about them. Kind of curious about Lost Tongue Overlook. Um, kind of curious about that. Take down another dragon. Maybe learn another word. So, let's um, let's go over here to the Shadowstone just to see what it is, and then we'll go on up to Lost Tongue Overlook. We did just kind of make this walk, but we're gonna make it again. I will do my best to lead the tribe. But I don't know why Malakath chose me. I don't either, dude. So let's go for a walk. Take, uh... Carjo and... Inigo with us. We'll walk over here to the Shadowstone. There's also... Orcs are very stern. <laughs> Orcs are very stern. There's even something else on my map now, too, showing up. A little hut or something in this direction. Gosh, listen to this beautiful piece of music. Where is the hut? Is it on that? I think my eyes have steamed up. <laughs> I think my eyes have steamed up? Okay. Let's go over here and see what this is. Walk through this water. Oh, that tree's going crazy there. Look at that. What is this place? It's like a little fort here. <laughs> I 
Let's see if we can get up here. That's not going to take me anywhere. We'll go around the other side. Golden Glow Estate. Okay. Golden Glow Estate. On my map. Gosh, look at all this stuff I still haven't discovered in this part of the world. <laughs> Good grief. Uh, I just kind of wanted to mark Golden Glow Estate on my map. <laughs> Um, whoops, there's my FPS counter up there. Look at these cool lily pads here. Those are cool looking, huh? It's all like they're not really there, though. Slightly disappointing. So we saw a cave. Uh, that's also not on my map. I don't know, man. Kind of would rather the game take me places. So that's just a little windmill place right there. This is called what? Snowshod Farm. Now why does that sound so familiar? Does that sound familiar to you, the name? Maybe I met a, a somebody snowshod earlier with a name. Advild. Honest pay for honest work. Yeah, I could use some Advild right now. Advild. If you're looking to purchase goods, I have none to sell. You should head into Riften instead. All right. Whoops. Bullwhip has been quite generous to let me take care of the farm. Considering I'm not part of their family. Snow shots are very trusting to let me run this place without their supervision. I'm glad there are guards outside the farm. I don't think I could defend the place alone. Need something? No, just chatting. Let's see what this person has to say. Hello. Leonara. My husband and I were just recently married. Oh yeah? It's, uh, it's okay. Oh, she, maybe she saw my amulet of Mora and she thought I was going to hit on her. I'm originally from Cyrodiil, but I left there after I had a falling out with my family. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. This was the first door in Skyrim I knocked upon, and little did I know my future husband would be answering the door. That is so romantic. I like the farm life. It's a huge change from living in a city. Yeah. Advilds made me a happy woman. I wouldn't want to be with anyone else in the world. What do you need? Mm, just, just chatting. Hmm. So, uh, I guess the people who own the place are in the building over there, maybe. Hmm? Well, let's see if we can get to this stone. If I can get out of this fence. What's up, dude? They say Ulfric Stormcloak murdered the High yeah. King with his voice. Uh -huh. Shouted him apart. Yep. I like his purple tunic or whatever you want to call that there. It's pretty cool. Um... Hands to yourself, sneak thief. If anyone sneaks up on us, I'll smell them coming. Or I might not. We will see. Okay. So what you are saying is that you may or may not know if someone is creeping towards us. Huh. Indeed. Well, at least you are being honest. You guys are making it hard to eavesdrop on your conversation when you get split up like that. But it's funny that Inigo commented on that, because that's a thing that Carjo says, right? Oh man, how am I going to get to this stone? I think I might see it up there. Um, What's the proper path to take to get up there? Let's see if this works. This might work. Oh, here it is right here. Okay. Ooh, that's a cool looking stone. I like that design. Oh, is that not the stone? I guess this isn't the stone. What is this? Pretty neat. But how do I get to the... The shadow stone? I mean, I can't... I can't walk up this. My friends certainly can't. 
Well, I can walk up it, I guess. See how far I get. Alright, well, they'll have to figure out how to get up here. Oh, there's somebody here. Oh. Oh, he hit me hard with some electricity. I better put on my uh, electro shock resist stuff. Shock resist gold necklace. And uh, shock resist gold ring. Unfortunately. Oh man, he has a nature knack and. Where'd he go? You cannot even conceive of the oh, there. My. Uh, oh, let's. Ouch. Where is he? I see him. Ouch. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you're down, jerk. Arch Conjurer. What's up with that? Staff of Ice Storms, Robes of Major, major Alteration, and an Elixir of Illusion. But I think... Nope. My Wrathman took care of the Atronach, which is good because any go and Cardio haven't figured out how to get up here yet. There they are. Nice of you to join me. What do we got here? It's the Shadow Stone. I don't know what the Shadow Stone does, so I hesitate to activate it. Probably makes me sneakier. And I really don't want to activate it because I've already got this really cool thing, the Steed Stone. Carry capacity increased by 100 points. I mean, come on. I don't even remember where the Steed Stone is. So, I mean, I really don't want to activate this thing. Because I can't remember whether it... Yeah, I'm going to F5 it. I can't remember whether it gives me a warning first or not. There we go. Once a day, those under the sign of the shadow can become invisible for an extended period. Hmm, that's kind of cool, really. I kind of like that, but I really would rather have the ex extended carry capacity. That's just me, though. Okay, so we made it to the Shadow Stone, and in this direction is um, this dragon place here. So we'll go there in the next episode. We're going to end this one right here, but... Uh, not before we uh, do a little bit of reading. I haven't done any reading in the past couple of episodes because I kept hoping that Inigo would read, but I think in order for him to feel comfortable, mm -hmm. we really need to be like in a tavern Go or something. Ahead, ask away. He's not going to read out here in the middle of nowhere. Okay, I will oh. unwind the wire. Well, make me a liar, dude. What the? He changed his clothes. <laughs> he changed his freaking clothes. Too bad he didn't take his helmet off. Yes, my friend. Okay, so he's relaxing. Ask away. Um. Well, how do I get him to read then? Okay, talk to you later. So he's okay with relaxing here. Uh, but I thought that if he relaxed, that maybe he would read some of his own book. But maybe he needs to be sitting down for that, and there's no place to sit here. Sorry, dude. Weird that he would leave, like, <sighs> he leaves the helmet on, he leaves the boots on. Uh, looks like he took off the gauntlets, so I don't know why he's that selective about what he's wearing. What is on your mind? You lead, I follow. Okay, good, he puts his stuff back on. All right, so anyway, um, we'll have him read to us at some point, but we are going to go ahead and do a little bit of reading in this episode. Uh, I have these books here, these three books, Bi Biography of Baron Zaya. Uh, a while back, I read uh, these this book collection called The Real Baron Zaya, I think, and they were really, really good. So I'm kind of curious to see what these are going to be like. So we're going to start with Volume 1 of Biography of Baron Zaya. This is by Stern Gamboge, Imperial Scribe. So this is going to be a completely different perspective of Baron Zaya. And I'm sure you remember the story of Baron Zaya, right? You remember it. Late in the Second Era, a girl child, Baron Zaya, was born to the rulers of the Kingdom of Mornhold in what is now the Imperial Province of Morrowind. 
She was reared in all the luxury and security befitting a royal dark elven child until she reached five years of age. At that time, His Excellently, Excellency Tiber Septim I, the first emperor of Tamriel, demanded that the decadent rulers of Morrowind yield to him and institute imperial reforms. Trusting to their vaunted magic, the Dark Elves impudently refused until Tiber Septim's army was on the borders. An armistice was hastily signed by the now eager Dunmer, but not before there were several battles, one of which laid waste to Mornhold, now called Almalexia. Little Princess Berenziah and her nurse were found among the wreckage. The Imperial General Samachus, himself a dark elf, suggested to Tiber Septim that the child might someday be valuable, and she was therefore placed with a loyal supporter who had recently retired from the Imperial Army. Sven Advinson had been granted the title of Count upon his retirement. His fiefdom, Darkmoor, was a small town in central Skyrim. Count Sven and his wife reared the princess as their own daughter, seeing to it that she was educated appropriately and, more importantly, that the imperial virtues of obedience, discretion, loyalty, and piety were instilled in the child. In short, she was made fit to take her place as a member of the new ruling class of Morrowind. The girl Baron Zaya grew in beauty, grace, and intelligence. She was sweet-tempered, a joy to her adoptive parents and their five young sons who loved her as their elder sister. Other than her appearance, she differed from young girls of her class only in that she had a strong empathy for the woods and fields and was wont to escape her household duties to wander there at times. Baron Zaya was happy and content until her 16th year when a wicked orphan stable boy, whom she had befriended out of pity, told her he had overheard a conspiracy between her guardian Count Sven and a Red Guard visitor to sell her as a concubine in Rihad, as no Nord or Breton would marry her on account of her black skin, and no dark elf would have her because of her foreign upbringing. Whatever shall I do, the poor girl said, weeping and trembling, for she had been brought up in innocence and trust and it never occurred to her that her friend the stable boy would lie to her. The wicked boy who was called Straw said that she must run away if she valued her virtue, but that he would come with her as her protector. Sorrowfully, Baron Zaya agreed to this plan, and that very night she disguised herself as a boy and the pair escaped to the nearby city of Whiterun. After a few days there, they managed to get jobs as guards for a disreputable merchant caravan. The caravan was heading east by side roads in a mendacious attempt to elude the lawful tolls charged on the imperial highways. Thus the pair eluded pursuit until they reached the city of Riften, where they ceased their travels for a time. They felt safe in Riften, close as it was to the Morrowind border, so that dark elves were enough of a common sight very different perspective of that story from the real Baron Zaya. I enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed it too. We will read volume two in the next episode. Thanks for joining me on this one. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why don't you let me know? Leave me a like or a comment. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again in the next episode.